This is a shot of the Dyneema lanyards used from the uh, thimble on the shroud down to a shackle on the chain plate. We just put four turns of Dyneema and half hitch it off at the bottom. It uh, doesn't stretch at all and is easy to get tight. Similar setup is used on the force day. The bridle comes up and I used three little segments of uh, stainless tang to convert the bridle to the force day. But the force day has uh, the same arrangement as the shroud in that a uh, Dyneema lanyard goes from the bridle, from a shackle on the bridle, up to the thimble on the force day. Goes around four times to get some purchase, and then the lanyard is led back to a cleat on the forebeam. That means you can let the mast down just by casting the lanyard off the cleat. Uh, because the Dyneema doesn't stretch, this is uh, just as good as a turnbuckle, but a lot cheaper and a lot faster to release. This is the cleat on the forebeam that the forestay lanyard attaches to. And you can see it, the shackle peeking out right there. I also have a Dyneema lanyard holding up the end of my boarding ladder. It goes from the end of the boarding ladder to the shackle on the forestay bridle and then back to a cleat on the other side of the mast step. Um, if I let it down, I just let it down so that it's still at an angle. That way the boarding ladder has no tendency to swing up underneath the center deck, which is an annoying thing about boarding ladders sometimes. Doesn't This one doesn't do it. Now let's take a look at the sprit. That cleat right there, but there's the end of the sprit, but that black cleat right there is the line, it, it secures the line that uh, takes the top of the sprit and secures it to the peak of the sail. It goes from the sprit up to a hole in the end of, from the cleat up to a hole in the end of the sprit. And, uh, From there, it goes to the peak of the sail. This is the end of the sprit. It has a cleat and uh, a block to increase the purchase. The uh, adjustable snotter is attached here. This is a block with a becket. <clears throat> Just above this block with a becket you see the snotter halyard and the Dyneema cord that goes around the mast and is shackled to the becket block and the halyard. In use you raise the uh, sail with the main halyard and at the same time you uh, raise the attachment point for the snotter using this Dyneema lanyard which goes up to the top of the mast okay now I'm going to try to demonstrate how to raise the mainsail. It's a little bit complicated but because the sprit never is disengaged from the sail, even when it's, you know, on its, on, you know, tied up on the boom and covered with the sail cover, the sprit stays attached to both mast and peak of the sail. This makes it a little bit handier to put up a uh, sprit sail.
This is a picture of the masthead taken from the port side. It shows some of the uh, details of how the tangs are set up and various other aspects of the masthead. This is the masthead from the starboard side. This shows you how the adjustable snotter is rigged. The uh, upper block is hung from a halyard that goes to a fair lead at the masthead. And since it's of dyneema, it doesn't stretch. This shows how the forestay bridle is rigged. There's U bolts that go through the stem of either bow and uh, then the rigging wire goes up to a little setup with three tangs to provide a mounting point for the shackle that carries the Dyneema lanyard that tensions the forestay. Anyway, that's a small selection of some of the ideas that I worked out when I was building the slider and hope they may be useful to somebody else.